Hey everybody! Welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. It's time for another hat, and I thought we would make this really cute, very fashionable, little snug beanie today. This is reminiscent of styles from the 60s and 70s, and I've made a lot of these over the years because I love them. They're really cute for the cool weather, and they're indoor outdoor hat, so you don't necessarily have to think of this as an outdoor wearable. I'm going to show you how to make it for heads in circumference, so your circumference, anywhere between 21 and 24 inches, and we're using the split shell pattern, which has a certain amount of flexibility to it, so you don't have to worry about it being too snug around your head. And I thought I might make a matching scarf for this, because I know a lot of you like sets. So give this video a big thumbs up, click that like button down there, if you'd like to see me make a matching scarf for this hat. Having said that, let's grab our hooks and yarn, head over to the craft table, and make ourselves a funky, fashionable beanie. In order to make our pretty little lacy cloche hat, I'm using a satiny acrylic four ply worsted weight yarn. You don't have to use the satiny finish one, but it does make your hat look a little prettier. Um, and I'm making mine today in this lovely coral color. This is a 100 gram ball, and I would be able to get at least three cloche hats out of this, maybe even more. So you don't need very much yarn at all. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and if you have a head, which is between 21 and 22 inch circumference, like my own, you need a 4.25 millimeter hook. If your head is a little larger, say 23, between 22 and 23 inches, then a five millimeter hook would be just fine. And if you've got a big head or a whole lot of hair, then you wanna use a 5.5 millimeter hook, but you can use the same yarn and the same pattern. And once we've got all of those things together, we can get started. We're going to begin with a cinch circle. Once you have your cinch circle, you've already chained one to secure it, you're going to chain two more, and that three chain little strip there is going to count as a double crochet. Into our cinch circle, we are going to double crochet, chain one, work two double crochets, chain one, Work two more double crochets. Try not to split your yarn. I find with this sort of softer yarn, it does tend to want to split a little bit. So if you find it, it wants to do that on you, then just take your time and try to not to split it. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we're creating little two double crochet shells and they're separated by a single chain. So you want to chain one and continue making two double crochet shells into your cinch circle until you have a total of eight. And remember your chain three to begin counts as a double crochet. So, so far we've got one shell, chain one, two shells, chain one, three shells, chain one. So each shell is two double crochet and you wanna work a total of eight of them into your cinch circle. Make sure you separate them with a single chain. Once you have eight shells separated by a single chain each, so each shell or set of two double crochet should have one chain in between, make sure you chain one more after your eighth shell, and then you can cinch your circle sort of closed, not all the way, and you're going to join to the top of that chain three that we began our row with. So I'm just going to slip my hook through the top of that chain and slip stitch. Then you're gonna take that little tail and you're going to tug it until your circle closes in and you've got a nice tight top. So no air is gonna be escaping through the top. <laughs> next, we're going to slip stitch towards the next chain one space. So you've already joined with a slip stitch you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. 
So right across the top of that double crochet and then into that space, so right into it. And every row you finish, you want to slip stitch into the next space. So that's something you're going to do for every row. But I'll help you out with that again when we get there. Row two, we're going to chain three to begin because we are using the double crochet stitch throughout this project. Into this same space, you're going to double crochet twice more. And don't worry about your little tail, you can weave it in on the underside of your hat when you're all finished. So that's three double crochet, counting our chain three in that first space. Chain one, identify the next space, make sure it's a space and not you're not splitting up two double crochets, so it's the space between shells and you're going to double crochet three times. So row two consists of shells made of three double crochets each, so a large shell in this case, separated by a single chain all the way around. So you're going to work a three double crochet shell into each chain one space from the previous row all the way around. You'll have eight large shells when you're finished. Make sure you chain one in between each shell. All right, you should have something that looks like this. You've got eight large shells separated by a single chain worked into the spaces of the previous row. You should have eight all the way around. Make sure you chain one before you finish and join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three from that beginning of the row. And you can join any way you like. I like to just sort of slip my hook through the top of that. There we go. And because we finished a row and we want to start the next row in a space, we want to start every single row in a space, you want to slip stitch across the top of that shell. So slip stitch through the top of the next two stitches and then right into the space. And now we can start row three. Chain three to begin. You're going to double crochet into the same space. Chain one and work two more double crochets into the same space. Chain one. Look for the next space, here it is between the two large shells, and work two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet into that space. Chain one, find the next space, and work two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet into that space. Then you're going to chain one and work the same pattern with little chain one spaces in between each set of shells all the way around. So you're going to have eight sets of split shells, and so there's two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet consists of this sort of split shell with a chain one in between. You're going to work that all the way around. You'll have 16 mini shells when you're finished. All right, you should have something that looks like this now at the end of row three. So you've worked two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet into every single space around with a chain one in between each set. Make sure you chain one before you finish and join to the top of the chain three that you began the row with. We want to start from a space and this space right here is the one we want to start in. So we're going to slip stitch across the top of the stitch right next to where we joined and then slip stitch into that space. We're going to chain three to begin. We're on row four now. Work two more double crochet into this space. So we're on to large shells. Chain one and into every single space around. So every chain one space. That's a chain one space. That's a chain one space, that's a chain one space. You want to work a large shell. So three double crochets and in between every set of three double crochets you want a single chain. So there's three double crochets or a large shell into that chain one space. Chain one. Find the next chain one space which is this one. Work three double crochets or a large shell into that space. Chain one and so on. You're going to have 
16 large shells when you finish row 4. At the end of row 4, you should have something that looks like this. You should have 16 large shells, or 3 double crochet shells, all the way around with a single chain in between each set. Make sure you chain one, and then you can join your row at the top of that chain 3 that you started with. And slip stitch. There we go. Same thing, you want to get to the next space to start row 5, so you're going to slip stitch across the next two stitches, so right across the top of those stitches, and right into that chain 1 space. You're going to chain 3 to begin, so we're on row 5 now. You're going to double crochet into the same space, chain 1, and two more double crochet into the same space. So we're back to that little split shell pattern. So these are the mini shells that are separated by a single chain. So this is a small split shell pattern. Then you're going to chain one, and you're going to repeat two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet into the next space. In fact, you're going to chain one and work two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet into every single space around, but don't forget to chain one in between each set of split shells. So you finish the set, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, and work the same thing into the next space. You will have 16 split shells, or 32 mini shells, all the way around. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. Incidentally, you should also lay flat. It should be sort of like an ever-increasing circle. So you should have 16 split shells all the way around, and a split shell is two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Make sure that you chain one before you join up your row to the top of that first double crochet, or sorry, I should say first chain three that you made. And now we're on to row six. So to get to row six, remember, you've got to get to the next space. So we're going to slip stitch across the top of the next stitch. There's the space. We're going to slip stitch into the space. And now we're on to row six. Row six is very important because it's the row that you repeat until the end of this pattern. So we're going to chain three to begin. And row six is very much like row five with one small difference. This is a full split shell now. So we're going to double crochet into the same space. And in order to make a full split shell, you're going to chain two and then work two double crochet into that space. Like we like to do, we chain one in between our sets of split shells. You're going to skip the next space. So you see this space between split shells? Skip it from now on. You're going to work your split shells into the middle of the next split shell all the way around. So we're no longer increasing. So you find the next set of shells, this one here, and you're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So that's easy to remember. Everything's sets of twos now. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the top of the next split shell. So we're now skipping all the spaces in between. chain one, skip that space, look for the next whole split shell of the previous row, and then work a two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into it. And that's it! Chain one in between each set, so each split shell set, you're going to chain one in between, and you're just going to work the next split shell set, boy, well, try saying that ten times fast, <laughs> into the top of the next split cell shell set. <laughs> and that's it! That's all you have to do for row six and for every row after that. So we'll get to the end of row six. I'm going to try and stop splitting my yarn, good heavens! There we go. And I'll show you what to do for row seven and every row beyond. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. Your sixth row should be starting to want to curl a little bit inwards. If it's not, don't worry. By the end of your next row, it certainly will. Make sure you chain one before you join up to the top of that chain three that you began the row with. 
And like I said, every row from here on out is exactly the same as row 6. So in order to start row 7, you're going to slip stitch to the next space. So slip stitch into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the next space. You are starting in the middle of a split shell. And that's where every single row is going to start, in the middle of a split shell. So you chain 3 to begin, because chain 3 counts as a double crochet. Finish that first mini shell by adding another double crochet in the same place. Chain 2, because this is a full split shell. Work 2 more double crochet into the same space. And that completes your full split shell. Chain 1 for a spacer. And skip over to the middle of the next split shell from the previous row. And repeat the same thing. 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. You're going to do that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain 3. Make sure you slip stitch across to the middle of the, the shell that you want to start in. So it will always be in between these two little mini shells. And then you just do the same thing for rows 7 to 14. If you get to the end of 14, try it on. And if you think you need one more row, go ahead and add one more row. It's the same pattern. And when we're at the end of 14, I'll catch back up with you. At the end of your last row, remember to chain one for your spacer between your shell sets. And then join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And you can snip your yarn and fasten off. You don't need very much yarn. Just enough to weave it in both ways so that it doesn't come undone. Pull it through, give it a nice tight, tight tug. Then you can grab your yarn needle and you can weave it in on the inside of your hat. So here's where we tied off. I like to pick up a piece going down towards, actually maybe I'll go with this one here. I want to head down towards this set of stitch insides, or the insides of these stitches, so that I can weave it in underneath something a little easier to get to. Remember, don't tug anything too tight because you don't want to pull it out of alignment. And then skip over a piece of the stitch and go back the way you came. And you can Work it through some of these stitches here, or just keep going back and forth until you know it's not going to undo itself. And there you go, your very own snug fitting beanie in the split shell pattern. Ah, I just love this hat. It's so cute, and you can make one to match every outfit. <laughs> I hope you had fun making this with me today. If you do make one, I'd love to see a picture. Make sure you share your pictures with me on Instagram and Google+. I love to see what you guys come up with. It's one of the highlights of my week. <laughs> and speaking of weeks, we will see you soon on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until next time, stay safe, stay crafty, and have an awesome week. <laughs> Bye, everybody.